is Kathleen at My Alabama Farm Life and I am back out here in the cornfield. We just finished throwing nitrogen on the corn and we're waiting for it to rain. It's supposed to rain this afternoon so I thought I need to get out here and I need to get some things planted. I told Uncle George that I wanted to grow some pumpkins this year so he laid me off two rolls out here and I just had these two small packages of pumpkins and it's not enough so I ran into town I went to the Tuscaloosa Farmers Co-op and I got three ounces of they're called goodness what are they called oh they're called Big Max pumpkins and they get anywhere from 25 50 to 100 pounds which which really is a huge pumpkin. And uh, the gentleman said they spread out all over the place. So I'm gonna get these planted. We are praying for some rain. We really need it this afternoon. And if I get these things planted into the ground, um, the rain is going to be awesome. It'll get them started and get them sprouted. Along with those, I've got a whole bunch of sunflowers that I want to uh, put in the ground and a bunch of other seeds. And I'll show you those right now. I have three bags of seeds that I need to get into the ground. We harvest them about a year and a half ago. I also have two brand new packs of sunflower seeds that I may plant. I have this winter squash and I also have these jack-o'-lantern pumpkins that I wanna use. I also wanna put in some butternut squash and I also have some cantaloupes that I wanna plant also. I ended up getting three ounces of seeds, the Big Max pumpkin seeds from Tuscaloosa Farmers Co-op. And it ended up being a lot more than I thought it was going to be. And because these pumpkins didn't come in an original container, I did not have any instructions on how to plant them. So I planted them the same way we planted our watermelons in the front field, which was three feet apart, two big handfuls of fertilizer, and I put three seeds in every mound. Okay, I got 25 mounds of the Max or the Big Max pumpkin. I did 10 mounds of the butternut squash, and then I had a winter squash pumpkin. I only did five mounds of that. I didn't have any more seeds left. I'm only halfway through with this row and I decided that I'm pretty much had enough for today, but I do wanna get these sunflowers into the ground. So I'm gonna do that before I call it a day and go inside. So I decided that I'm just going to plant the loose seeds that I have in the bags. These are seeds that I harvested from sunflowers that we grew two seasons ago. So they're about a year and a half old and I'm hoping that they'll grow. So this is gonna be it today for this video. I planted the whole line of sunflowers and hopefully we'll get some rain and these sunflowers will come up. As you can see, um, it's the next day and I am back out here in the field. I only have three different kinds of melons that I wanna put out here, but I really did wanna get them done. I want this finished and I don't wanna to have to come out here again for a little while. I'm gonna go ahead and plant these Israeli cantaloupes, this jack-o'-lantern pumpkins that I didn't do last time and Kajari melons. I'm still hoping for rain. It did not rain yesterday afternoon like we had anticipated, but it's already cloudy and we only have a 30% chance of rain. So I'm hoping today will be the day, the afternoon, that we get some rain and water in all these seeds. I ended up only having eight seeds for these jack-o'-lantern pumpkins, so I ended up making three mounds. I ended up creating 10 mounds of the Israeli cantaloupes and 10 mounds for the Kachari melons, which are essentially a um, small honeydew. And again, like all the melons, three feet apart, two handfuls of fertilizer and about three or four seeds. And then I watered them all. Okay, that's it. I'm done. I'm not gonna do any more out in this field for a while. So thank you guys so much for your loyal following. I really do appreciate it. You guys are the best. But this is the end of this video. 
I will see you on my next video. You guys have a blessed and joyous day.